you as a surprise. Uh, um, Nothing's wrong. Why would anything be wrong? <laughs> Second really strange. I guess he's always acting really strange. Uh, um, okay, well, I'm gonna go back to my room now. Take a easy partner. See ya. <laughs> what was that? What the frick was that? There we go. What? Hmm? My obsession. What? What are you doing? I'm leaving! I see. <laughs> Never head back to my room. I'll just be there, leaving totally cold. <laughs> did Did somebody start handing out drops when we weren't here? Hey. Hey, Makoto. Why? Are you sure all the documents are gone? I refuse to believe it. Go and check again. What? Listen to me. Just hurry and go, and to make sure you don't run off, I'm gonna wait right here. Oh, okay, that she's acting. She was so forceful. Fun made her mad again somehow. Just a second. Why are you standing there? Hurry up and go. Okay, I'm, okay, I'm going. So then. And be thorough. I'm counting on you. Actually, there's a few papers we're left. Okay, first we have to find a network key. Set the off, didn't he? Quantum cube there should be a bunch of cables in this door. Oh, this is a network cable, right? Now we just have to connect all the ego. I immediately got to work. Hold up a laptop connected to the Ethernet port with the cable. And that should do it. Um, that's right. Yeah, I think it worked. Leave it to me. Just leave the rest to me. I swear I'll find something. I might even be able to connect to the outside world if I can. If I can, I'll see if I can get call for so, help. So please just waste a little while longer. Just hold tight and put best. your faith in me. I was about to leave, I decided to leave him with one last thing. No matter what, we're gonna get out of here. You and all the rest of us are friends. Huh? Friends? Even me? Thank you. Thank you, Makoto. Makoto. How'd it go? Well, we went okay, but all the um, documents were caught, just like I told you. Our plan was an unintentional mix of acting and real feelings. Correct. I see. Then there's nothing left for us here. Goodbye. Before I knew it, Kyogo was walking away. She wasn't acting anymore, that much was for sure. Uh, Kyogo? What? Yes. So we're just gonna split Why up? is that? Of course, I have no reason to stay with you at this point. Maybe, but isn't that a little too direct? Ooh. Should I hesitate and fumble for something to say? You saw my maintenance. That's not what I meant. Just had that more I want to talk to you about. Like, what are you going to do about Sakura? It's true. Well, something has to be done, it's true. However... But the way things are right now, there's no way to persuade anyone. They don't have to mind to listen. Then what should we? So... If we can find some new clue, that would likely change the situation. That's all we can hope for right now. Which is why all day you Correct. go. All we can do is wait and believe in our friends. You're right. That's our only option. We parted ways and headed back to my room. I'm kind of tired. So I laid down in bed. Maybe it was because of the stress of moving all day you go, but I was way more tired than I realized. So before long at all, I had completely dozed off. Huh? The sharp sound of the doorbell pierced my sleepy haze and pulled me back to the real world. Rattle. Makoto. Get out of here. Makoto, what's going Indeed. on? Hina just came to see me and she was white as a ghost. It sounds like something's happened. What? I sort of heard those words, my started to beat a little faster. So I found myself wide awake. She said for us to come to the rec room. The rec room? Okay, let's hurry. Oh, look, Kyoko. You know what's wrong? Something's not right. In the rec room. What's inside? There's a window on the rec room door and I heard to look inside. And when I did... Sakura. Is she unconscious? She's sitting in the chair like she's bowing her head. Hey. What's going on? Did something happen to her? Huh? I was just one past and I have to notice her through the window. But I couldn't get the door. I tried knocking and tried calling her name. But she wouldn't respond. So what should we do? What are we gonna do? Anyway... First of all, we need to get into that room. Well, the door's locked, right? If we break in, we'll be violating school regulations. We're going to force a way in. I just said Wrong. the door isn't locked. It's not locked because the direct room doesn't, doesn't have a lock. Huh? Then why? It, seem... it feels like the door's pressing up against something inside the room. Is it the chair? Chair? In other words... Either way, the door isn't locked, which means, as far as I can tell, the rule doesn't apply. Then there's no problem if we break in. Indeed. Let's smash the window. That should be the fastest way. Okay, I'll get something to break in. Wait right here. Inside the rec room, Sakura still had moved an inch. I have a bad feeling about this. Just unconscious, right? I... Is she okay? I mean, it's Sakura, so I'm sure... 
Joker didn't reply. It's only silence. Well, that silence didn't last. Here! I found a broom. In the classroom. Use it. Makoto. You can handle this, right, Makoto? Please. Come on, please hurry. Okay, you two, stand back! Apparently I'm the, old, the one here with the best forearm strength! Aiming directly at the window, all it took was one solid hit. The window was shattered into a hundred pieces, scattering across the rec room floor. Stuck my hand through the now open window and start jostling the chair leaning against the wall. The chair's pretty heavy, but if I can just... I pushed on it with all my strength and find the knock to her. Sakura! Run up to her as fast as I could, but I won't let my hand on her. I was afraid this was the case. She's dead, isn't she? Fuck you! Arthur was called death. I could feel only the last lingering warmth of a living body. Life had abandoned Sakura's body. And then... Fuck! A body has been discovered after a certain amount of time. Huh? huh? Sakura's. I'm sorry. Sakura's dead? She's really dead? I heard you talking for my start steadily forward. I could only look on at Sakura's dead body. Fuck. I have my suspicions this would happen. We didn't make it in time. It happened again. Monitor to herself, secure began to gently inspect Sakura's body. I wondered, was she confirming the Sakura really was dead? Checking for a pulse or reaction? I had to go again. I had to get, go get the others. On shaky legs, Hina left the rec room. And I... Why? Why did this have to happen? That's all I could say. I repeated it over and over again. I, I need to examine Sakura's body. I just stood there motionless behind her while she checked Sakura's corpse. Time passed. I was still unable to do thing, a thing. Time just passed. And after I don't know how long, I got everyone. What? Oh, no. mm, yes, oh, so yes. she's dead, huh? I see. Sakura's been killed. I see. As soon as they arrived, Kyoko began. Just a second. You heard the announcement just now, right? So I know what this means. <laughs> Sakura's murdered, and by someone in this very room. Is that what you were going to say? Huh? No. Kyoko killed her. It's not just someone in this room. It's it was fault. one of you, Hiro Byakuya Togo. One of you killed Sakura. What? 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 You're accusing us before we even begun the investigation. I don't need to investigate anything. Because you hated her. You hated the side of her. One of you did it. I know it. You know it. Jeez, I didn't know your power level would increase for that much. I'm not getting mad. What the heck? What are you doing here? Come on. Isn't it obvious I'm here to hide my little murder fly? That's why. Come file. Yep. And don't get so mad, Mrs. Ahino, or you're gonna ruin that lewd little face of yours. Hmm. Now then, what I... Hold on. There's something I want to ask you. Huh? huh? It was you, wasn't it? You killed Say Sakura. Uh-huh. Sakura wanted to challenge the mastermind to a duel. Maybe you won't have fought again In then. other words... Then I killed her? Hmm? Sorry, not quite. Actually, not even close. The whole thing is totally irrelevant now. Sakura came to a most regrettable end without even getting the chance to finish things with me. Phew. Which, thank God for that, it saved me the trouble of having to go through with a little fight. As if for someone like me, it would have been no mean feat to take down a behemoth like that. Hey, I gotta um... tell you, I was actually pretty worried. I mean, she violated a rule by attacking me in the first place, but I wasn't able to punish her. Wow. So I don't know Come who on. it was, but whoever the blackened is this time, I owe you one. What is this? You owe them one? <laughs> Oopsie, work it all pissy party at me. Better figure out who did it first. Ching. Cause I mean, your lives are all of the line, right? <laughs> interesting. What is this? What the hell he owes him one? That's interesting that Sakura somehow is able to avoid the punishment. So what's going on here? I hate it. I hate this whole thing. <laughs> well, I for one am glad it was Sakura. She was working for the Master How can you say that now? <laughs> Sorry, I don't have time for your squabbling. The next game is already gone. If you want to be angry at someone, be angry at whoever kills Sakura. Anyway... Right now, our top priority needs to be uncovering Sakura's killer. If we can't do that, we're all dead. Hmm. And let's decide who will send guard this time. I'll do it. Hina, I'm okay. Just let me handle it. Besides, I, I want to be here with Sakura. That's fine. Okay, then Hina's guard number one, but we need one more. Hmm. Joko, that's you. What? Me. Hmm. You're always a pawn in my side. This time, just stand by and watch quietly. Consider that an order. And order? That's fine. Fine, I'll stay behind. Hmm. That then it's settled. Let's begin, shall we? Hold on. Oh, there's something I want to say. What? Which is... Hero, Yakura, Togo. None of you are allowed to step foot in the crime scene. Huh? What? 
Oh, what have you killed Sakura? I, I won't let someone like that come anywhere near her. Stop talking. Don't be stupid. Our lives are just as much as dangerous as yours. We have every right to investigate. I don't care what you say. I'm not letting the one who killed Sakura anywhere near her. Even if it means I have to use force, you're not getting in here. What appears for the discussion will be a waste of time. How about a compromise? It's all clear. I won't ask you to let us all in. Just let me. Oh. What? <laughs> you don't really care, do you? We're both useless anyway. Yep. Nope, don't really care. Oh. I'm not spend my time coming up with a double splendid fantasy involving Master anyway. Hmm. And you hear it? Do you really appear? Uh, um. If you're gonna go that far, what can I do? I mean, I don't have anything to hide, so why should I care? It's all clear now. Then it's decided. What are you saying? Nothing's decided. Calm down. I know how you feel, Hina, but you should agree to his request. But hey, we have to find out who killed Sakura. Correct. For those who are still alive and to honor Sakura's memory. Fine, I guess that's okay. But no matter what we have here, you absolutely aren't allowed to touch her. <laughs> Naturally, we want to touch your filthy dead body. Listen. That's enough fighting. We need to focus on investigation from here on out. Everyone, keep this in mind. If we can cover Sakura's kill, oh, listen to me. all of us face execution. Find out who killed Sakura. It's not a matter of hoping we can do it. If we want to survive, we have to do it. It's kind of hopeless hope. We are not trust but to just do it. Let's check on Akuma Farm before anything else. The victim was Sakura Ogami. The time of death is estimated to be around 12 noon. The body was discovered in the rec room on the third floor of the school. There's evidence of a strong blow to the victim's head. No other injuries were noted. Or it seems that at some point the victim suffered from violent vomiting of blood. She was poisoned. Hey. Making the case this time might be a challenge. Why is that? So... The only way into the rec room is the door we just came through. And that door had been jammed shut by the chair from inside the rec room. Which means the killer would have had to escape somehow after barring the door. So the door was blocked from the inside and there was no way in or out so we broke the window. That's like zero escapes, right? In other words... In other words, this is a classic locked room murder. Locked room murder? I guess you might see this kind of thing a lot in mystery movies or books or whatever. But could it really happen in real life? And right before our very eyes like this? Hey. Are you curious to hear more about what a locked room murder entails? Sure, if you don't mind. That's fine. When you break down this kind of murder mystery, there are four basic types. The first time is when the locked room is created after the actual crime is committed. This simply means that the killer commits this crime and through some special methods seals the room. This mainly involves some sort of trick involving the locking of the room. Basic approaches include using a string or a simple mechanism. There are a number of variations. So for that, all we'd have to do is check the door to see if that's what it was, right? Correct. The second time is when the locked room already exists before the crime is committed. No? In other words... Basically, the killer uses a special contraption or tool from outside to target the victim inside. You push a switch and it fires a handgun or you shoot an arrow through a gap in the door, something like that. However... But in this case, the door do this, that doesn't seem to fit. There are no guns or arrows in the school and the door doesn't have any scap that would allow it. Yeah, I think we can probably cross that one off our list. It's true. The third time is when the killer stays in the room until it's opened up. What do you mean by that? In other words... They stay hidden and when the door is open, they use the confusion to blend in with the group. They pretend they showed up along with everyone else and that's that. That's something that could have been possible, maybe. It's true. And the fourth and final type is when it wasn't actually a locked room at all. Not a locked in room. In other words... But that I mean, there actually is an alternative escape room somewhere within the room. You see this in long novels and things, but in reality it's generally not possible. Then you think we could cross that one up too? Indeed. I believe so, yes. So when it comes to locked room mysteries, those are the basics. So there are four possibilities. Then, Kyo, which of those four choices seems most likely in this case? It's true. That's a good question. I think that should be a primary focus during this trial. But right now, I can't really say. I see. The way the killer set up the locked room, as I figure that out, the truth behind Sakura's death will stay hidden. It's definitely a tough mystery. I need to concentrate and investigate as much as I can. For Sakura, if nothing else. <sighs> Furthermore, yeah, she was, I guess the reason she vomited blood while she was poisoned. Poison has been revealed and, well, not many who could take a Sakura on in a straight up fight. Damn it. Fuck. This has been a Cobra, this is a let's play. Duncan Rumpa Blind. See you all around. <laughs>